Hey, I wanted to show you uh, what I've been fighting on this whole job. Uh, like 200 acres of this, of this job is like this. <clears throat> you see this uh, wall of green? It is thick. And if uh, you guys don't know what it is, that's uh, mountain laurel. <clears throat> and on this job, it is so thick. I, I, I don't even think you could get a red squirrel to run through here. It is so bad. It is, uh, it's terrible. <clears throat> so, one good thing about it though, is that um, when, you, when you smash it down, or sweep it to the side, it's, uh, it's really brittle. It breaks right off. Not like a uh, witch hazel. Witch hazel is uh, terrible too. <clears throat> Springs back up. But this stuff is tough stuff. This uh, mountain laurel. And you can just see. Let's, let's see if I can even walk through here. You know, that's how thick it is. We'll go in like. I don't know. 15, 20 feet. Look at that big pine right there. <clears throat> Hiding in here. But look at how thick this stuff is. It's just like everywhere. All right? It's taller than me. You know, bird's nest up there. But look how, we didn't go that far. And you can't even, uh, you can't even see the machine. But we're going across this ridge right here. <clears throat> drops off down over there and it drops off over here on that side down to the swamp but you could see it this is big stuff some of this stuff is just almost as big as my hand you know can't even put my hand around it So you gotta you gotta sweep this stuff aside, looking for rocks all the time, things like that. You can see this stuff's terrible. Grabs your clothing, grabs your hats, your ears. You'll rip them off. Anyways. I just thought I'd show you that. I, this this whole job, 200 acres of it, was just like that. And I thought that was kind of interesting. I just thought I'd show you that real quick. And now it looks like um, I can hear they got the tobacco running up there on the landing. Finally put the uh, that torque hub in. And uh, fortunately, it was an updated model. That torque hub was... Uh, we called the company and found out it was actually only for a small wheel loader. So uh, it's kind of a cheesy setup, but the one we got was an updated uh, version. So maybe it'll hold up more than I think it was 1,100 hours, something like that. But uh, later on today, we'll go out and check. All right, guys, see ya. So I wanted to show you something else too about the mountain laurel and uh, how it likes to grow. Mountain laurel. Uh, does not mind the shade at all and this canopy up here if you look up it's like tree branch to tree branch right so it is growing in in total shade so now let's take a look you know if you look at the at, at the mountain laurel let's look underneath all right take a good look what do we see under there nothing nothing growing there's nothing that grows under the mountain laurel because there is no sunlight that reaches the ground here. So, now I wanted to show you something else because it's such, as I mentioned in the first video I just did, look, look at the ground here. I haven't disturbed it in here, but look. You see this? Pine cones everywhere. See them here, there, all over there. You can see them. Now look, because we've disturbed the soil, this is all gonna come right up. It's all gonna come right up. Uh, whatever seed is in the ground, like I had mentioned in uh, the other video, it's gonna pop right up, reach right for the sky. So uh, 
this is a perfect year I mentioned before to to cut to cut this wood uh, the pine the oak now I haven't seen much uh, ac many acorns at all but uh, they're here they're in the ground and and now that I've disturbed it like this disturbed the soil the sunlight the sunlight here is gonna hit that is gonna hit that warm it right up and and those young trees are gonna pop right up the only other way to get that to happen is if you have a fire come through and if we had a really really dry year and this mountain laurel uh, got on fire well that'd be the only way you would be able to get trees to come back up through here you know, because nothing else would grow so I just thought that was kind of cool and you could see I just I just went through in the last uh, 15 minutes you know another hundred feet of mountain laurel and uh, made a few hitches and that'll be uh, that'll be a good seed bed so I just thought I'd show you that hey uh, check this out it says uh, rock splitting 101 check this black birch out see how it started growing in there it's been splitting this splitting this huge piece of granite right here I just thought that was pretty cool. Thought I'd share that with you. It's starting to get steep again. And I know the lights are kind of bright on there. But uh, I'm trying to cut all the undesirables here. All right, I just thought, thought I'd show you that. Got some more stuff coming.